we're live. Uh, well, hello, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing this evening? Welcome to Coffee Time with John and Mama. I'm John, and this is Mama. <laughs> We've started kind of announcing that because some people didn't know the name of the web or the uh, the Facebook page was Coffee Time with John and Mama. That is how it was Coffee Time. So it's Coffee Time with John and Mama. So if you're looking for it, go and follow it and like it and sprinkle it or whatever they tell you to sprinkle do. It. I think it's just the you know spread it around kind of thing. We are cooking tonight. Oh, boy. We are I'm excited. Because this is one of my favorite things. I've made it before, I'm almost sure. It's been a long time back. This is something that I like to make in the summer when cabbage comes in, but look what a perfect cabbage right out of the garden. Someone's garden. Someone's garden. Someone's hot house. Someone's wherever, but it's perfect and it's good and firm. When I seen them, I thought, oh, it's a perfect cabbage. I'm going to tell y'all down here. Hello, let's see what y'all are saying before I rush away here. Hello from Michigan. Hey. Hello there. Hello, Delaware. I'm seeing places with. Hey, Angie. Hey, Becky. Hey, Leslie. Let's see who was from Michigan and Delaware. Um, hey, Stacy from Michigan. And who was on there from Delaware? Oh, well, I'll find it. Sometimes they go by too quick. I had someone say last night that we was ignoring their comment. We don't never ignore where we may not see, but we don't ignore. Uh, it's just hard sometimes when they're rolling I sure by there. I can't see it, though. This ain't a good reading shirt either. I can tell you that right now. Okay, let's get to cooking. So tilt down here. Come right on down here to the board. This is just the way I do it. Now you can, if you're going to do a bunch for a big family, you can cut the whole thing or you can cut a portion. This is the core. So I want to keep in mind we don't want to uh, do the core. I'm going to just cut a piece off the end here. This is my big old Tupperware sharp knife. And look, that's just perfect. And I'm just going to lay him right over here on this... Um, pan with a rack. This goes in the in the KitchenAid Easy Bake Oven. And then, Mama, are you going to eat 12 of these? Oh, no. I might eat this little one. She'll eat the little one. <laughs> you want to cut them about an inch thick, because you don't want them just falling apart. And you want them to hold some substance. So there it is. And don't worry about these little straggly ones. You can take, like that one's completely loose, you can take him off. And just lay the other one over there. My mama cut one more. I don't make these ahead, so I don't know about leftovers. Make them ahead, get it. Mama, here's a cabbage head. Yeah. Mm. Mercy, what humor here. Oh, wow. Let's see if I can lay him right there and take that loose piece off. So that's all that there is. Mama might eat this. I'll have her eat this one right here at least, maybe. Might be the little but bit again. That is it. That's all you do. You just cut your steaks. These are the one-inch steaks. You still have plenty of cabbage left here. I'll just lay this piece right here on top of here. These loose pieces, and I'll wrap them up in some plastic wrap in a minute. And uh, we'll have that for some coleslaw one day. Be delicious. So, now on to these. All I'm going to do... And this is where you can do whatever you want to do. Remember, this is yours. I start out by drizzling it with some extra virgin olive oil. That's what's in here. And I just, there's a little something on that. It's cabbage. Don't know what it is. I just don't like the looks of it. Just a piece of cabbage, but I didn't care for the looks of it. Okay, so I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of extra virgin olive oil right on top of that cabbage, just like that. Drizzle some on top of this one, just like that, and the same over here. You're, you're not coating it completely, you're just coating it all over with a little drizzle. Now, this is where it becomes very creative, and this is where you can do whatever you want and fix it however you would like. So, different times I do different things. Of course, I like to use some black pepper. This is just table grind black pepper. Gonna put it right on top of those. 
And I guess the healthy part of these would depend on um, what all you put on. I'm going to put salt, black pepper, and then I'm going to put a little bit of lemon pepper. Just because I love lemon pepper. This is just plain on McCormick's lemon pepper. And I just love it. Mama don't like so much of it. So I'm not I'm gonna put just some on this big one. Mama, you want a tad of lemon pepper on yours? Just a tad. Just a tad. I'll put a tad on this one. Well, I'm not shaking all that. It didn't come out. I'm gonna put a tad on this one. Mama, you're You've, you've stopped the lemon pepper up wanting to, it's, you've hurt its feelings. Tad. The tad and the tad. Not much came out, folks. It just looked that way. Now, this is Slap Your Mama. And it came to us from Sandra Smith in Baton Rouge. Now, I'm sure they know all about good seasoning in Baton Rouge. I have been wanting to try this, Sandra. And thank you, thank you, thank you for sending it. I have tasted it, but I haven't cooked with it yet. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put quite a bit on my piece. Mama, do you want slap you, slap you mama on yours? I don't know, is it hot? Not terrible. Just a sprinkle, okay? Just a smidge. All right, mama, just a smidge on your two pieces. A smidge will do. I'll add some later on. Now this is probably just for looks, but it will bring out the flavors and other things. Putting just a little bit of parsley this time. Now, there is the cabbage steaks ready for the oven. Now look, you can tell I put a little bit more slap you mama on mine. Mama's has got a lot less. I'm, I'm donating these two to her because that one's awful small. This one probably about the size she wants. Well, but she can have whichever one she wants. Okay. I'm going to set this aside, and then I'm going to hassle back some potatoes. Now, that sounds awful fancy, don't it? Hassle back baked potatoes? It's not. It's just a cut potato. It's a Swedish, Swedish version of a baked potato. And the reason you want to hassle back them or cut them is it, it changes the texture of them, and it changes the flavor of them. And especially when I get through with it, it's going to have a different flavor. And uh, what I did is I cheated, and I recommend you all cheat too. I put these in the microwave for about... Are they already cooked too much, Mom? These have been... How long was they in there? About eight or Eight minutes. Put them in the microwave. So they're basically baked. And what you do is you get your two spoons. Let me tilt you down. Let's see what you are saying. Yummy, yummy. Yay. Hello from Louisiana. Elizabeth, I think this slap your mama come from Louisiana. Okay, so you just take your two wooden spoons, two wooden whatevers, anything, skewers, you could use chopsticks, whatever, and you lay them down. You do not have to pre-bake them if you've got an hour to spend on the Easy Bake or your oven. And a hassle bake just means you cut them, but not all the way through. So I'm just going to cut it and let the knife and the, sp or the spoon in this catch it so I don't cut it all the way. Yeah, Mama, these are, these are baked. These, we could eat these. So you don't have to pre-bake them like I did. But I didn't want to be all night waiting for them to get done. Even if I wasn't on here with you all, I wouldn't want to wait that long. So that is a Hasselback potato. And that's all you do with it. You just slice it, but not all the way through. You can see it's still good and steamy. Now, what's going to happen, I got this on 450, and I'm going to put it in the Easy Bake, and those little pieces are going to kind of separate, and they're going to brown a little, and they're going to brown down in there a little bit. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open them up, just like this. And I'm going to drizzle them with a little bit of olive oil. Just like that. And I'm going to put a little bit of cheese. Hey, can you hand me that real bacon? Real bacon. Yeah. 
I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of cheese. Now, if you had not have pre-baked them like I did, I would hold off on this until they were about this done. And then I would put my cheese and I would put my olive oil and I would just tuck me some cheese down in each one of the little slits that you made. Just like this. This just makes some goodness. And you can put a little stick of butter or a pallet of butter in each one of these if you want. That ain't really, I don't want all that butter. And that's not really what I'm going for tonight. I'm going to do, now this is just optional too. This is just the ranch. And I'm just going to put, as Mama says, a, a, a smidge. Just a sprinkle, sprinkle. And I want to make sure I don't over sprinkle because this is just going to be a little bit of flavor. And it, it'll absorb into there. And I'm just putting just a little smidge of flavor. A little bit of table salt. And these bacon bits, I'm not a big fan of the crunchy hard ones. But these are good for baking, cooking, and putting on salads. And these are your real bacon bits. And you can see here what they are. They're the real actual pieces of bacon. You can buy bulk in the big bulk stores. And they're good. Uh, they are good. If you like it. If you don't, then they're no good. You don't like them. Don't you use them. But for this potatoes tonight, this is what they're getting. Cheese, a little bit of olive oil, and a little bit of ranch powder. And now, when I get ready to take them out, I'll put a little bit more cheese on top. But I'm going to lay these right here and bake them up. Since we're on live, there's no time savers tonight. So you'll have to sit there and watch me do another one. So this is just doing the same little process. Hassle back in the potatoes. Mama, these did get that. Yeah. Good and done. But that's okay. It just saves that much time and it keeps us from having to wait. Well, we didn't want to hold them on there, but even if I wasn't videoing. You well, thank you, Mama. You're handier than a pocket on a shirt. I reckon so. Even if I was just making supper for the family, I wouldn't want to wait all night for a baked potato. Little EBOO. Tuck some cheese in each little spot. Now these are just plain old um, Idaho potatoes. They're not baking potatoes. They're just some big potatoes that we had. Just like you would cut up for um, mashed potatoes or potatoes au gratin or anything else. They are good. This is the real bacon bits again. You can use by all means. If you have bacon that you fried for something else, or you might just fry a couple slices for this. I don't have that kind of patience either, but use the real bacon. You can top these with a can of, not a can, but you can top these with some diced tomatoes out of the can. Be delicious. I'm going to top mine with a little bit of, what am I doing? Okay. I'm going to top mine with a little bit of that chili we talked about last night. Mama did make chili yesterday. Um, out of our leftover pinto beans and they were delicious the beans were but we ate them twice it was time for a new creation so mama made chili that didn't come out a whole lot so it wasn't near as much all that shaking that I was doing there wasn't putting on there it just had a little fine mist on there now there are the two Hasselback potatoes put them in the oven let me show them. Oh, wow. so here's the Hasselback potatoes and here's the steaks that we're having. And Mama, you going to put chili over yours? I will later on, maybe. No, not now. You don't do it now anyway. Mm -hmm. But later on, Mama might or might not do chili. But that is supper. And it's it's healthy and it's good. So now we're going to put it in the Easy Bake long enough for that cabbage to soften and turn brown. We'll probably have to take the potatoes out a few minutes before we do the cabbage. Because it will get done quicker. And on 450, and then you'll put it on broil. And you want those cabbage leaves to get just a tinge of brown on the ends of those leaves. Now, since we're on live, 
and y'all want us to stay till the to see the end, I guess. It'll take us a few minutes. So, what's going on in your world? Mom, that cheese is still be good to add to the to it because that's there's been nothing wrong with it. Okay. Now I heard a vicious rumor this evening that we're supposed to get some more ice and snow. Have y'all heard that? Hey, Becky. Car, is it? Are you watching? Did you just jump on there? Hey, Linda. Oh my gosh. It is good, Linda. Uh, if you if you can try, it's delicious. You can do many cheats on these Hasselback potatoes. If you want to just uh, slice a potato and put it in there and bake it that way, it's sort of the same thing. What you're wanting is you want that crusty outer edge with that soft, tender inside potato. And each one of those little layers will do that for you. If you and that's a conviction uh, that we've got it on. So it will just brown up just nice. That cheese will melt in there. You have that bacon. They're so good. I love them. I wanted to fix them last night and we fooled around. We had uh, a couple of things going on and we was delayed a little bit on supper. And I thought, I don't want to start fixing supper at 8 o'clock. But tonight, it's not 8 o'clock. Okay, it says, uh, to make a good baked potato, wash them. Uh, leave them wet in a plastic grocery bag. I don't leave. I can't see the rest of the comment. I'll go back and see what that was, though. Hey, Patty, how are you? Hey, Carol. Uh, thank y'all for sending those stars. It's supposed to get two to four inches of snow here in Perry County, Kentucky. Sandy, yeah, that's what I heard. Two to four. Oh, we just had seven or eight inches. I don't know what them woolly worms done this year or them hornets or maybe they're on hornets. Some kind woolly of bees. Well, what's the hornets do? Or the, uh, some of them build or nest real low. Is it high. hornets? I can't These are old southern sayings. Um, if hornets build their nest high or low, something. It means it's an indicator of bad weather. And so the woolly worms, I do know that little saying. We have these little woolly worms. I don't even know what they're called. Some of y'all probably do if you do tell me here. They're caterpillars. They're, they're about that long. They're orangey and black. And they have different stripe patterns. Like they'll be black at the end. And then they'll be orange. And they'll be black on the at the head. And that means if it's black at the head it means the winter's coming in strong it'll be mild in the middle middle and then it'll be strong in the end if it's all black it's all winter is going to be bad we also have a saying about persimmons they they cut the seed in half and then when they open them up and i've seen them they're hard to do kind of uh, i did try one one time that they're hard because they're real little seeds and you have to cut them straight down the middle. There'll be a knife, a fork, or a spoon in them. And that did, tells you... I know a spoon is a lot of snow because it's a shovel. And a knife, I think, is ice, a lot of ice. And I don't know what the fork is. Good times? I don't know. Maybe mild. I don't know. I need to look all that stuff up. Um, hi, in Texas, we are, we are having... Above snowfall. Is that Joanne? Joanne, y'all having more in Texas? Hey, Nancy, Mother Nature has... Y'all going so fast. Mother Nature has gone bipolar in Alabama. We had 68 degrees today, and now they say freezing rain and cold temperatures. Tomorrow. Yes, that's... She's up here acting that way, too. Uh, we're getting the same kind of thing. This, what, three weeks ago, was 70s? 60s and 70s? Uh, we had a lot of earthquakes here. Oh, no. We had in South Carolina about two weeks ago. Wow, you had earthquakes a lot in South Carolina. Is that where you're from? Wanda. Wanda Wells. Did you have earthquakes in South Carolina? A lot of earthquakes. Hey, from Williamsburg, Kentucky. Williamsburg, Loretta, Bryant. You are just miles from us. You're just across the line. Getting one to three of snow on top of all the rain we've had today. Loretta, if you're getting it, we are too. Yeah. Loretta, you just live not even 12 miles from us, so yeah, we're all getting it. Mm. 
Ellen Paul, did you just jump on there? Becky, how are you? One to three inches tall. That's what I heard. A sp okay, a spoon is for a shovel, snow. The knife is for cutting sharp wind. Okay, thank you, Yvonne. Yvonne Lutz, thank you so much for sharp nice? wind. I thought it was ice. Yvonne is, is the fork ice. You threw us a spicy. Uh, yeah, unless we want to add some more. Oh, I'm from Buffalo, New York. Diane, I bet you're laughing at us for talking about two inches of snow. Because <laughs> that's not a lot for you all, I'm sure. Hey, from Albany, Kentucky. Tabitha, are y'all getting snow too? We had about ten in the same week. Wanda, no, I didn't hear about that, but I don't watch the news much anymore. Ten earthquakes in South Carolina? Good night. Oh my goodness. Hey, Tim Ireland. Thank you for jumping on. We live on the fault line this morning. 67 here, Monday. 62. Southeast Kansas, 21 right now. And the wind is howling. Gala, I think that's about what we're getting. It's, it's just 70s 60s now it's in the 30s it's been cold we've had snow we've had power you know some folks here are still don't have their power back on so let's say a word of prayer for them that's a long time we were without about 25 hours uh total but 26 hours total but it came on for an hour um right after it been off about two hours but it came back on for an hour then it went off for well, 25 hours. But um, we were warm and we had food. And I'm not going to complain at all because, you know, it could have been longer. It could have we been worse. We were fortunate more than a lot of people. Was and those folks, those folks out there trying to get it back on were in worse conditions than we were. And the folks that still don't have theirs certainly were are still in, in bad shape. We also had seven inches of snow in South Carolina. Wanda. Oh, wow. They got as much as we did. Hello from Greensboro, Tennessee. Hello there, Piggy. I know. I love weather, though. I love Mother Nature. I love the way she changes. And and I'm just so glad that none of us are in control of that. We'd mess it up. I'd have y'all froze to death. And I'd have you all good and toasty warm. <laughs> I'd be saying... Be prepared for a hot one tomorrow. It's going to be 72. Mama would say, it's going to cool down. I'm going to bring it down to 90. Mama loves warm, warm weather. Don't you, Mama? Yeah, feels good on the old bones. Mama, you are out of the picture. Oh, I'm all right. Mama, you're in orange tonight. Well, is that orange or is that a, something else? Oh, I don't know. what. You, it's not really a... It's a rust. It's warm the anyway. Rust, the rust color will tell it. Have you enjoyed the fireplace today? Yes, I have. I've enjoyed it for the last few days. Mama loves the fireplace. Maggie does too. It's soothing and relaxing to sit and watch the flames. Maggie loves it. Maggie just lays. She would crawl up in it. We have to watch her. We really do. She's too close, I think. But she's like, back off. Leave me alone. I, I got this. Maggie's got old bones. We gotta have them more. I say, Maggie, honey, you're too close. Get over from there, and I'll move her over, and she'll, and then she'll nudge right back over up against the mantle. I, I don't guess you call that the mantle, the bottom part, hearth. The grates. Grates, whatever. The screen. <laughs> hey, Mama. Oh no! Now you didn't tell me it was doing a joke. What? Tree. I love trees. Y'all know I love trees. What tree has the very best bark? What tree has the very best bark? Yes, ma'am. What tree has the very best bark? Y'all feel free to answer if you know it. A coon. <laughs> I like your jacket, Mama. Somebody said they like your jacket, Mama. Well, it's an old, old paints and jacket that goes together. They, they had see. snow in us in Virginia. Uh... A coon dog is probably... Well, Linda, love, cats love the fireplace, too. The tree, not the dog. What the kind tree. of tree? Which tree has the very best bark? Hmm. I don't know. 
Does anybody know the answer? Weapon wheel, uh, uh, oak, uh, spruce, elm tree. Uh, what tree has the very best bark? Does anybody know the answer? No. A locust tree has a rough, thorny bark. <laughs> Jennifer, you got it. What was it? I can't see it. I know. That's the reason I said. Belinda, you got it. Ginger, you got it. Mama, there's three people got it. Oh, they're smarter than me. Uh, a oak tree. Judy, you got it. Maple. Think about it, Mama. Bar. Should I tell her? Yeah, tell me. I'm getting tired of guessing. I'm blanking. Mama. Pine, cedar. I've named every tree they are just about it. Judy Stepp just told you again. Can you see those? I words? can't see that. I, it could be. <laughs> Ken, Kenna got it. You got it, Kenna. Dogwood, Mama. Dogwood. Oh, gosh. That never <laughs> even my mind. Dogwood tree. Which tree has the very best bark? Would well, it have to be a dogwood? Yeah. Tammy, you got it right. Oh, that was a good one. Excuse me. Bless you, Mama. Excuse me. You ain't coming down with something, are you? I hope not. I don't think she is. She's been too uh, too lively today. You going to say too mean, did I? I wasn't, Mama. I really would. Folks, pray for those folks around here who have... We have had several, several cases in our area. I know everybody's seen cases, but it seems like we have just... Just had a lot. Hey, Linda, you got it. And Kim, you got it. I'll not forget that no more. If my mind don't fail me. <laughs> <laughs> you think your mind will fail you, Mama? Well, it does sometimes. It... Mama's got me drinking water. Let me get my coffee. Um, yeah, Gwen. You got it. Gwen Anderson says dogwood. They're all smart. Kathy says than me. dogwood. Simone said dogwood. Mama, they all got it. I know it. I wasn't even thinking on that kind of life. Frida, Frida Mac, is it, is it Frida Mac Maddox? She used to be a tree farmer. I love trees. I, I, ever since I've been a kid, when I was a kid, you know how most kids, if you give them a pencil and piece of paper and you say draw, Something they'll buy, draw a square, and they'll put windows in each corner, and a door, and a house. You know, I draw a tree. I love trees. I always have loved trees, uh, and I still love to look at trees uh, in the winter time. I love to see the trees and the limbs. I love a, a silhouette of a tree up against the sky. I love to see all the limbs and all the you know the movement of the tree. I love that kind of stuff. We had a tree in our front yard ever since I was a kid. And I'm going to tell you, it was a boxwood. Box. Box elder. Box one. elder. Box elder tree. And I love that old tree. And my great uncle shot the top of the tree out when it was just a little tree. My dad remembers it. It was just a little skinny tree growing out there. And uh, they just planted it. And he let it get up grow a whole season and he shot the top of it out or about middle ways down and uh my dad said he said that'll make a pretty tree now my dad said you shot it out and he said yeah he said it'll fork that tree had three perfect forks i guess where he shot it and they came up and in the center was a a spot big enough for kids to play we played in that tree my whole life. We loved that tree, and I thought that tree would always be here. And uh, as years went by, you know, started to age, I even had a tree doctor or whatever you call him and come out and look at him. He said it was just the type of tree. They just have a lifespan. And uh, we had to finally cut it down. It just, oh, I just hated it. It was in danger of falling on the house. It was an old tree, and it was beautiful, but it had really had just rotted, and it was just having a lot of issues. Mama, are they done? Well, I don't know if they're done or not, but I think the potatoes is going around. Okay, bring them out, we'll look at them. We'll see how pretty they turned out. But anyway, it just broke my heart to have to get rid of that tree, and I still look at where it used to be, and I think, 
Oh, I miss the old tree. It was a big, huge shade tree. If you've ever had those. Hey, John and Mama, hope you all are well. Just South Philadelphia. Feel it word. Hey, Clarence, is that? I'm sorry, folks. Sometimes they go up, and I try to stop them, then I mess them up, and then I have to try to get them started again. Uh, hey, from Texas, Phyllis, how are you? Hey, Brenda. Mama says the potatoes are done. The cabbages probably are too because the cabbage is mostly water. And when you put it in that oven and it gets hot, they look done. And they get hot. It doesn't take much to get them to... Oh, Mama. And this is exactly right. This How long has that been in there, Mama? Do you know? I don't know. I don't remember. Some of y'all probably know. Okay, this is exactly what I'm looking for. And this is exactly what it should look like. Mama, if you'll hand me that pot in your hand, I'll lift it up here and show them. Okay, sure. It's hot, folks. It's good and hot. Now, this is what you want your cabbage steaks to look like. See how it's charred brown just on the edges? Can y'all see that? And look at those potatoes, how beautiful they turn out. Look at that cheese, it's slightly brown. You got that bacon bits in there. And look there, how beautiful. If you can't see, swipe the, there's the charred edges on the cabbage. That's what you're looking for. So swipe your comments over if you can't see too well. And that is supper. That's what we were looking for. I'll get my big old cabbage steak off here and I'll show you up close. Eee. Oh, yeah, it's just perfectly tender. It's wonderful. Now, I don't want to mess you up. Come over there. There we go. Now, see here. Some of y'all may say, that's burnt. This is delicious. That cabbage is just perfection. Oh, you like it. Burnt. I love that. But it's not all that way, by no means. It's just these edge pieces. The pieces that are loosened are just the very tips. And that's what you're looking for. Mmm. Delicious. That cabbage is delicious. All right, Mama. What are you going to do to your potato? I'm going to try it first on its own. The Mama says, leave is. my potato alone. So here's the... Let me get a close-up of that potato. See those little hasslebacks? Now, you can leave it there if you want a little browner, but see how this is browned right here on those edges? That's what you're looking for. And see how that cheese is melted down in every little groove? And then your bacon. Now what you want to do now is if you want to put some more. Um, Mama, you want this little one or you want this one? Give me the little one. I knew you would say that. Mm -hmm. Mama's like, not too much unless it's candy. Look at that, how pitiful, Mama. That's all right. So what you want to do is you want to... Um, put you some more cheese on there, put you some sour cream on there, treat it just like a regular baked potato. Like I say, it's just a baked potato, just a Swedish version of it. And then I'm going to put a little chili on part of mine. This is chili that Mama made last night, and I'm just going to put a little on this end. And I'll put a little bit more cheese. Let me tilt y'all down here. Is that the cheese right there by your hand, honey? Yeah. No, that's not. It's Let me not, have that off that cutting board. Here's this is the cheese by my hand. I was right here. If it had been a snake, it might have bit me. There is a pack of cheese over there, but that's not what we use. It's not So here is. I'm just going to put a little bit of cheese on top of my chili. You want some more cheese on yours? You can do the same with your cabbage if you like, but there's just, and I didn't do it over the whole potato, just over that end. If I want more, I'll get more. Here's Mama's chili from last night. She just put, took the pinto beans, added chili to it, added some onion powder, didn't even put onion in it, just onion powder and it gave it a good flavor. But I don't think the onion powder will hurt Mama as much uh, with her stomach as the real onions. And we'll, we'll bless it, we'll put a little bit of you want some sour cream on yours? Yes, please. This is just sour cream, and we'll put that on there, and we'll be ready to eat. So let's bless our oh, supper. Yes. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for the hands that prepared it, dear Lord. We just thank you for the nourishment of our body, dear Lord. Dear Lord, be with all those people that are without out there, without electricity and without things that they need, dear Lord. Be with all those people who are working to 
restore the power and restore the people and the first responders as well to the Lord. Remember each and every prayer, prayer request that has been presented. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Give it a try, Mama. Well, I'm going to taste my cabbage. And I'm going to just mix this sour cream up a little here. And I'm just going to put a dollop right there on top. You want some, Mom? Yes, please. How much you want? That's good. Thank you. All right. So there we have it. Now let's give it a taste. Are you ready, Mom? Mm -hmm. I don't taste it. Mine probably won't taste like yours because I put a little bit of extra spice on mine. But I don't care a bit to add more if I need it. How about you? Did you get enough on yours? Mm-hmm. Let's taste this cabbage first. Mmm. And that slap your mama is good on there. It's Not too warm. hot. A little warm. Miss Sandra? Thank you. Very good stuff. Mama says it's a little warm. Well, now it is a little warm. Mm -hmm. I just got the second note. <laughs> the second note's warmer than the first one. It is a little warm. Ooh. But it's Cajun. And the potato is hot instead of a little warm. Mm. It'll burn your tongue if you ain't careful. The potato? Mm-hmm. The lemon pepper on the cabbage just brings out those flavors. The slap your mama. It's got that Louisiana Cajun seasoning. Very good. I give it an A. What do you give it, mama? Yeah, it's good. I'm going to try this hassle back. It's crunchy. That's what I want when I cut through it. You can hear it probably. Can you hear that, that sound? A little bit of this chili. And look there, it's tender in the middle. Just look like at a, that steam. Like a bad bad. And look at that hot off. steam. Look at that. Speaking of steam, we are is we are like London today. I don't know, it rained on top of that snow and the sun didn't really come out. But we are covered in fog, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Oh, I have bad news about the snow cream. Some of y'all asked yesterday. We never did do it. We were in the dark when it was prime snow cream making. And so yesterday, in my inexperience, I said, Mama, they're asking about the snow cream. You want me to go out there and get some? She said, you can't use it now. It's You have to use fresh snow. You can't just get old crusty snow and make snow cream. No. Or at least Mama won't. And I said, I've missed it again. And she said, well, this time you have because you waited too late. You've got to get it right after it falls. Okay, so next time we'll try to do better. You might get it in the morning. <laughs> oh, no, I hope I don't. But if I do, looks really good, Deborah. It is. I'm, I'm not tried the potato yet, but I'm fixing to. It's too hot, really. Mmm. That is good. The difference is the texture, the crunch, and a little bit of that flavor. So if you haven't ever done a Hasselback baked potato, I'm freezing up, Karen. I'm sorry. I, I don't think we are here. Usually we get that little dial thing. Um, I may, be, I may be where you're at. I tried the potatoes in the microwave with the... Everybody's going so fast in it. With the saran wrap on top in the bowl for 12 minutes. Excellent. Yes, Mary, it is. And that's why we make them a lot. You could do these that way and then take them out and put them on a pan and brown them just a little bit and that'd be very similar to this. I put sesame seed oil and sesame seeds on my cabbage steaks. Lynn, I haven't used the sesame seed. That would be good. I may try that. Put you a big bowl out next time. Oh, yeah, that would be good. John, why can't we do that? Mom, John, and Tammy, Jerry says, put a bowl out and catch your snow. We can do that. We've got real big Tupperware. We can put a Tupperware bowl out there. So if we know it's going to snow, and I'm telling you what, it was prime the other day. Those snowflakes were so big and falling so fast, you could have had a bowl of snow in a minute. So next time I will try that. 
We are eating smothered cabbage with sweet Italian sausage tonight. Oh, oh yeah, that's one of our favorites. Star, we love that. We love that. Let's try this potato. Let's put a little bit of that sour cream. Mmm. Mom, that chili's better today than it was yesterday, even. Mm. And that just hits the spot with that chili and that potato and that sour cream and that cheese. A little, I can taste that bacon. Mmm. That really is just what I was wanting yesterday. I said, oh, I'm craving that flavor of that chili, potato, and sour cream. I love that. Um,. We have these sometimes when we have chili. You know, it's a, it's a good second day meal. Or, in this situation, this would be a third day meal because we had pintos, we made chili, we had chili with a little bit of crackers, and today, put it on a potato for the third day, and we've got the third day meal. And it's good. It's delicious. Try this, y'all. I recommend it. It says, uh, I can't. Seeds for some reason. Have you ever wrapped a cabbage head in bacon seasoned seasoning? Uh, seasoning and baked or grilled. I have heard of the baked cabbage heads, and I think it tastes similar to this, but I'm gonna try that sometime with the bacon and the different there's a gnat in here. Do y'all have gnats? Why do we have gnats year round? Um, snow. I don't know what we. John, we see one eye. Linda, you're John. just seeing half of your face. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Linda. We tried to do the wider screen, but we didn't like it. And Mama uh, um, sometimes drifts away, and I have to <laughs> move over. But um, we tried to do it with the iPad, and, and uh, you all didn't like it, and we didn't either. Well, uh, now I can. You better get your head over there. <laughs> yeah, I've been freezing up the whole life. Jenny, I'm sorry. I don't know. I hope it. I hope it's coming through. Some people are... Usually, if, if our stops, it, it stops on our side and we see it. This time it hasn't, but it could be weather or something like that. I freeze snow and make it last. Reba, that would be good. Folks, we're going to go and finish eating up. Mm. It's going to be time to take Maggie out. Maggie's had some trauma with the snow. So what happened was, the first day, just like with the snow cream, the snow was fluffy and wonderful. And she loved it. And she went out and danced around in it and played. And she'd get cold and come back in, but she loved it <laughs> this morning. She walked out. And crunch, <laughs> crunch. <laughs> and she walked right on top of it. Her weight didn't even break that crusty layer until it did. One foot went, you know, she's just got the, she don't really use that front leg on the, it went all the way through. So she went down about six inches. All of a sudden. And so she thought she was standing on top. And when she went down, poor little thing, it scared her a little bit. And she looked at me like I'd done something. And then she was like, all right. So she got out of that little mess and she walked a few more steps and her back foot went through. So she ain't liking it now. She was like, clean this mess up, get back to green grass. I'm over this. So, uh... We're going to have to put a little bit more weight on her so she'll crunch through that snow. But she didn't crunch through until moments later. And it kind of took her by surprise. I try not to laugh too much, but it was kind of cute. to Bless her heart. <laughs> <laughs> She's hilarious. Anyway, folks, we are going to say good night. Yes. Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mom. Excuse me. Good night, Mom, and God bless you and all. And we're going to say, find you something good to eat and make you some memories. Enjoy yourself. Have a few laughs. And if we get snow, we get snow. If we're in the dark again, we'll just be in the dark again. We'll just take whatever comes and make the best of it. You and, can't, uh, what is it? You can't fight Mother Nature anyway. That's right. It is what it is. But do just whisper a little prayer for those folks up there still working in it. 
and hopefully they'll get a break if we do get more snow or ice and uh, I it don't have be... snow windy days all the ice yeah you can get around and snow a little bit and you can make snow cream but you don't make ice cream why can't you make ice cream <laughs> You can make a, what do you have to say? Slushy. Slushy? Slushy, yeah. <laughs> we'll try anything, Mama. It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Good night, folks. Y'all have a great night. Thank y'all for being with us. Sorry this one took a little extra time, but yeah. we had to let them potato us back a little bit. So y'all have a great night. In, uh, stay safe. Stay warm. And if you're somewhere that is warm, enjoy it. We're looking forward to it. And about five more weeks here, we'll have some more. Y'all have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.